to see if the addition of this service on top of the uh, national approach to cardiac rehabilitation can be of value. And then in heart failure management, where as we say we want to keep patients stable and uh, detect early their worsening of status, uh, we will focus on patients uh, that are uh, discharged from an episode of worsening heart failure and uh, the, the trial will go on in three sites again. Um, it is about to start in uh, November and uh, it will have a I, again, a longitudinal follow-up, which can be up to 12 months. Let's say a few more things about the two cases. We, you, sh you can see here about the guided exercise system. Um, the system is very much focused on the patient, so you can see that there is an interaction between the patient and the system in the first level during the exercise, the patient is wearing, has a wearable uh, device and a portable station to support the light guiding to, to have exercise in safe and beneficial range. And then there is an interaction between the patient and the patient station, which is more or less about uh, education, feedback about uh, seeing your own progress in exercise and doing configuration and personalization uh, actions. And then there is a third interaction with a professional. The professional is interested in this case to see what is the progress of the patient, to see if there are cases that, are, uh, that need uh, to be taken care of, for example, in, in compliance. And then the professional can also uh, adapt and uh, the exercise plan accordingly. So you can see that the patient is in the center, but there are different loops of interactions with the system. And then in the heart failure management system, uh, the goals in this functionality, as we said, is from one side to have an optimal medication treatment, so we have to support the best way of heart titration, and also the diuretic optimization or, or minimization the dynamics of diuretic management, and we want to keep the patients in a safe zone to have health maintenance, to keep the patient stable, to avoid worsening, or to predict early enough worsening, and to avoid hospitalization. And then we have the patient loop, let's say, the system for the patient at home, which supports education, coaching, gives reminders, and informs patient about uh, new interventions, medication changes, for example. And then there is an interaction with the professional side. The professional has to, to see all the data, but not only to see the data, there is a system in between which supports both of them, because this, this system, the back end, let's say the, the intelligence of the system, uh, incorporates the um, alerting mechanisms incorporates an intelligence system that can manage the tri and trigger different algorithms according to situations, and an improved workflow of data, of uh, recommendations, of actions that have to move between the two sides, let's say. So in this case, uh, we have a loop at the, for the patient at home, the interaction between the patient and the system, and, the inter and then the other loop, the interaction between the patient and the professional side. Oops. So, to summarize, with heart cycle, one, we want to provide medically validated solutions. So, Heart Cycle worked toward these cases in close cooperation with the medical community to, to recognize which are the very important needs. We are working also towards uh, finding solutions that, towards finding systems that can be part of the solutions, that can give solutions to these problems. And we want our uh, developments to to have the technical maturity that is needed according to the regulations. We are running trials because we want to have medical evidence and also to see the 
economic evidence about the system because any policy for reimbursement for real inclusion of these systems in, in a healthcare uh, the healthcare needs to be based on this kind of medical evidence first of all and this this policy we are using this the way we develop heart cycle we believe that uh, it will be successful in uh, improving the patient self management in involving the patient in, in his own or her own care and also in supporting the professionals to better manage the, the chronic patient conditions so i hope you got a general idea about it. Um, okay, good afternoon. Oh. Okay. So, uh, in this, uh, my brief uh, talk is uh, related to the challenges that uh, Health Cycle is facing uh, in this project. Uh, the first, uh, the first. Oh, I have to learn how to to move this. Uh, okay, there was an animation here. But, uh, nevertheless, um, the, f the first uh, challenge is to create evidence uh, in the, of the benefit of the closed loop approach for um, chronic disease management and uh, rehabilitation. And uh, this evidence, as uh, I was said my for my colleague uh, before, is uh, uh, being. Uh, uh, will be um, uh, achieved through uh, uh, two uh, clinical trials. Um, but this is not enough, uh, really, when, the, when talking with um, um, uh, healthcare managers and uh, in the problem of moving, uh, from, uh, f moving from the research to the clinical practice. And uh, we all agree that uh, there is a, um, a, a huge information Existing now, that the same that uh, will be uh, uh, added by by uh, by heart cycle, there is a huge information and evidence on the improvement of health outcomes uh, due to telemonitoring and due to the uh, uh, application of of their concrete uh, uh, disease management process uh, uh, processes. Uh, there are hundreds of clinical studies and guidelines already uh, available. As well, there is uh, evidence in indirect cost savings. Uh, basically on the reduction of hospitalization events and, and duration. So there is no a, a, a real a problem here when talking with the uh, healthcare managers or uh, politicians because they all agree on that. And they agree that this is a small part of the, of the, of the problem. The big issue, it really, is the organization. 80% of the, of the problem becomes for the organization. Why the organization? Because our hospital, our healthcare system has been designed more than 100 years ago. And we are progressing in incorporating technology for diagnostics and for therapy. But very few that are related to the real change on the processes in there, the process of care, care, more efficient process for care, care. And the system like a, a heart cycle are directly oriented to create a new, more advanced and efficient process for healthcare. And when you talk a process, we are talking on changes. Changes on the, the work, on the functions of the individuals that are working in the organization. So 80%, and this is something that uh, uh, most of the people that we are talking agree, are related to the organization. And there is a lack of evidence on the impact on inside the organization of this, because there are no uh, a, a real best practice, big ones, that can be considered as the a, a reference of how the introduction of these uh, uh, new processes has been impacted inside the organization, include all the issues that are related to the organization. So this is a, 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 a also a, a challenge for, for high cycle, because we want and uh, we, we we intend to move on from the research into the clinical practice and to, 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 to provide a step ahead in this, uh, in this uh, state of the art uh, today. 
So this is the, the, the stratification model, the, the classical stratification model of the risk of patients. And you see the high complexity, medium complexity, and medium and low risk uh, um, um, uh, levels. Of so um, what we see, first of all, is to clearly identify in which of the stratification uh, segments um, the, the heart cycle, in, in specific, the, the specific uh, heart cycle application will fit in. It's clearly that uh, for uh, our heart failure management, we address very complex patients, even though comp uh, patients that are not so, when we say are low level uh, of complexity, say in a level two, I refer to patients that are not too many co comorbidities. So high, uh, high level patients are patients very complex that needs a, a, a really a case managing uh, approach. And a heart cycle is prepared for the case man uh, management and approach. The same way, the, um, um, uh, the heart the, um, rehabilitation uh, application for a heart cycle is more oriented to uh, patients in this case that will hopefully evolve from a high risk situation after myocardial infarction to a normal life through six months, 12 months, one or two years. But with the problem in mind that you have to follow the heart cycle uh, uh, support process all along your, uh, along your uh, life. So we mean that uh, heart cycle will uh, uh, follow the evolution of the patient on the, on the time. So for this, we have created more or less two um, uh, kind of, of, of models of implementation into the clinical uh, uh, practice. In the first one, for high uh, risk uh, uh, patients, just to say a failure in the, in the upper part of the stratification uh, uh, model, we identify basically four loops of attention. And those loops are becoming in, 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 in in, uh, in, in work depending on the condition. Now the condition is the dynamic evolution or the dynamic stratification of the patient at any time. And uh, we have a patient that, uh, in, the, in, the, in the home loop, we have a patient in the call center loop that is uh, working, say, on a daily basis, that you have uh, 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 this continuity of care through telemonitoring, through um, um, uh, uh, questionnaires and, and patient feedback, more, more of them are automatically being uh, uh, um, uh, achieved, uh, realized. And we have uh, um, other uh, um, loops, like uh, the one that is related to the primary loop, depending on your healthcare model. For instance, in the south of, of, of Europe, you have a more oriented uh, primary care uh, uh, based uh, system, so primary care participate in the, uh, in the uh, uh, assessment and continuative care of patients. So her cycle should provide those uh, general practitioners with enough information to care, take care of the, of the patient in the moment that is uh, uh, come to the uh, uh, visit, as well as specialized uh, uh, clinics um, or specialized units that are de uh, de dedicated to, 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 to home care. In the more uh, um, uh, say for low medium, uh, this is the case for instance for uh, rehabilitation. We see patients that are in the vertical uh, loops, uh, including the home care loop, as well as uh, specialized clinics for rehabilitation that could be 